Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Witches and Midnight Margaritas. Woo wee. <laughs> well, okay. happy April 1st, everybody. Hope you did your cinnamon thing. And even if you didn't, you can, you can do can. it anytime you want. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, if you want to do it on a special day, full moon's coming on the 8th. So yeah, could do it then too. Yeah. So uh, we got a few things lined up for you today. Um, gonna squash the dog. That's first off. I don't know how to keep them quiet. They're untrained. <laughs> Anywho, uh, the first thing we're gonna, I'm just gonna hand it over to her. She's the dragon expert, so go. Well, dragons, first of all, we have to um, get them to, I don't know how to, exp how to explain this. Um, trust us, I guess, is one thing. So in order to work with them, you need to get them to trust you. So you're going to, I don't know. Um, well, first of all, give them things that they like to have. Coins is one thing. They just love shiny things. So I have a little dish here with a dragon on it. And I filled it with coins so that they will trust you a little bit more because you're giving them something that they actually love to have, for one thing. Mm -hmm. So coins is one. We want to um, have them open their eyes, right, so they can see it as well. So if you've got a dragon that has eyes that are closed, you can actually just dot the eyes with yeah, we'll a brush you. or a... This little dragon here. This one has its eyes open. But just open by a slit. But just a slit, yeah. Yeah. And you'd like to have them with eyes wide open, really. So I would dot the eyes with a brush and a black pen or, or a black pen. Just to make paint. it ceremoniously yeah, just, open their yeah, eyes. just so that they're open. Yeah. And if you think that they're not open enough, you can actually burn an incense for them to waken their senses and open their eyes. So, <laughs> but you do want them to trust you. They have to trust you because if they don't trust you, and it takes some time to get them to do that actually. So you want to work with it a little bit, right? So if give them coins, give them shiny things. Um, you can add to it, give them more. <laughs> okay, and what's the point though? Like, what's the point of working with a dragon? Well, it's, they're lucky. They're lucky, actually. Right? They're, for me, it, it's because they are a lucky thing. And dragons, a lot of people really like dragons. But if you don't work with them properly and you don't give them what they want, they won't help you. But they will help you once they do trust you. And they give you some insight. They're really smart. So they can give you a lot of insight as to what you need to be doing, right? And they'll help you along mm -hmm. if you let them and have them trust you because they won't do it unless they are yeah. trusting. Because let's be honest, whether you believe dragons exist or not, that's not even the point. Yeah. There's so many mysteries in the universe that we have no clue Who's to say they don't exist, either here or on another plane, or did at one time, right? We think, oh, well, we talk to ghosts and our ancestors and gods and, you know, whatever else. Why not dragons? They're not my thing. I don't have any connection with dragons. I'm not drawn to them. She's got dragons all over the damn place. Yeah. So, but um, dragons are, they do... They're magical. They're looked at as hoarding wealth. They like shiny things, but they don't really hoard. They care for things. So if you are called to, like you feel it in you to work with dragons and you get yourself um, some sort of statue or whatever, you just want to make sure the eyes are open. Mm -hmm. And um, she's just been putting coins in here to keep them happy. Yeah. Yeah. Because they really, really like that. Yeah. Right. So they're going to trust you more if you give them things. That they like yeah right yeah. shiny things anything shiny it can be jewelry it can be uh coins it can be anything like that yeah because that's what they they cherish that and actually. what's because you've and been doing this 
yeah, because you've been doing this a while, like what kind of experiences have you had that you can tell people about? Um, they've given me a lot of insight. Yeah. In a lot of time, a lot of times when I'm doing something, I get insight from the dragons. So you just have to listen to what they're saying. And unless you have that bond with them, then you're not getting anything from them. But if you give it time, because it does take time to work with them, it doesn't happen overnight. They are not very trusting creatures, so you need to get them to trust you. Mm -hmm. So this is something that would be long-term. It's a long-term thing, And yeah. basically you're doing it not just for the insight, but so that they'll help you build your wealth. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's our theme. That's what I've been trying well, to get yeah. out of her, but yeah. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> they do a lot of other things for me too, but mm -hmm. but wealth is one of them. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you're doing good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You're doing good. Yeah, you're really retired. Good. Yeah. You're you're I'm fine retired now. Yeah. yeah. You're fine. I got inheritance so that I could retire. Mm -hmm. So they've helped me with all of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And and um, these don't need to be expensive. Um. This is an ashtray, actually, which <laughs> just works perfectly for putting little treasures in. And I know I showed you already, but they're all kind of dusted in cinnamon, which is actually really, really funny. <laughs> but, yeah. And you just want you want to make sure you get one with their eyes open. Like, yeah. you can go to Spencer's or order off Amazon or whatever you want to do if if you feel like you need. To do that. To do that. Yeah, if, you, if Not you're a person thing, that, that wants to work with dragons, but... Yeah. Not everybody does. Yeah. And it's not, it's a long-term thing. So it takes quite a while to do. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Yeah. Like I've been working with them for a long, long time. Yeah. So it's taken a long time for me to get them to trust me at all. Yeah. So, but for me, it was worth it. I love them. I absolutely love mm -hmm. dragons. They're magical. They're. So would you say like if someone was feeling really fancy yeah. and they got themselves this a beautiful dragon figurine maybe they could put their money jar next to it they could like, yeah would you say that absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely it doesn't have to be something like the ashtray that i have i have quite a few other dragons yeah, but you do. i use this one because i can put stuff in it mm -hmm. right and it's it's readily available and they're watching over it as you see they're they're curled right over it yeah. so i really like that idea she doesn't let this one out of her sight no. i'll tell you that right now no <laughs> No, because it's protecting that, right? It's protecting that wealth, yeah. which it'll do it for you too, mm -hmm. right? It'll do that protection as well for you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I have this oh. one. So working with dragons, they're good if you, if you feel you like you want to. And if you have the time. Yeah, and if you have the time. It's more for building your long-term wealth, abundance. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It like takes that. a while mm -hmm. to work with them. But it's like a personal choice, really. It's either you, yeah. you like dragons. Not everybody does. Yeah, like I work with Sasquatches. Exactly. Because so, I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so True. it's everybody has their own thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I know a lot of people like dragons, but a lot of people don't really care either. Yeah. So. Okay. Moving right along. So, dragons. Now we're going to make a recipe. <laughs> this is an easy recipe. A really easy it's recipe. super easy. Yeah. Um, this is for fast money oil. And it is so easy, it's not even funny. So what you're going to do is get yourself a jar. It can be any jar. Little is actually better, to be honest with yeah. you. This is the littlest I could find um, at home. I probably picked this up at a dollar store. Honestly, <laughs> it looks like dollar store yeah, stuff. But whatever, I'm not knocking it. Yeah. No shame in my thrifting game. No, it's, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a jar. Then you want to put a bunch of cloves in here. So you need the cloves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cloves are amazing at attracting money and attracting luck. Attracting all those good things, the ab abundance, the wealth. And we've just got some whole cloves here. If you don't have whole cloves, that's okay. You could probably put powdered cloves in there. Yeah, I'm gonna put a bunch in here. Yeah, and again, uh, you can get a lot of herbs and spices at the dollar store or bulk barn or. Yeah, you can. Yeah, honestly, you get some crazy. Yeah, or in your net if you're an internet orderer. 
Yeah. I'm not, but. <laughs> you need to more? Yeah, throw some more in there. It's not like we're doing anything else with cloves. Today. Today. Yeah. And so what you want to do is uh, put a bunch of cloves in a jar, right? Normally, I would use a, like, a little test tube thing that you can get at the dollar store, which I just don't have any. They're all full of other stuff. And that's fine. So if you look... Just put it in there. Yeah, just full of cloves. Not full. Not full. And then... A little one, you could fill it. Yeah, absolutely. And then you want to put some oil in here. Um, we're using grapeseed oil. Now, why grapeseed oil? Grapeseed oil is... Um, because grapes are lucky, too. That's true, they right. are. Grapes yes. are actually really, really yeah. lucky. So we're going to use grapeseed oil for that. Then. Yeah, okay. Oops, <laughs> take the lid off. <laughs> I'm only judging this much. Okay, yeah. well, quit judging. <laughs> no. There you go, and that's it. Those are the only ingredients that you need. So what you're going to want to do is you want to close this up. Oh, they're cute. They're all floating to the top. That almost looks like a lava lamp type thing. It does. Yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do with this is you don't have to shake it, it's doing its own thing. Um, you just let it sit for 24 hours. That's it. And then after that, every day. Every day, yeah. You so open have it handy. up. You open it up. And you just kinda, on your wrist, every day. Yeah. And I'm already greasy, so you can't even actually tell. But <laughs> um, every day you do that. Yeah. Um, and while you're doing that, you just be like, I am wealthy. I am, I have all, all my money needs are met. I'm the yeah. luckiest person in the world. That's right, yeah. Everything I touch turns to gold. It's personal and it's for you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So just make sure that you're re reaffirming. Yeah. That you're lucky that you are all the time and that you have yeah. money yeah and so yeah. i would put this with your bathroom stuff or wherever you get ready for the day now keep in mind it is an oil so you're not going to want to go crazy you know what i mean but just a little bit on, on your wrist on the inside I of your wrists this. yeah on the and then just rub it in uh, i'm so lucky everything i touch turns to gold i'm the luckiest person in the world i have all the money i need yeah yeah and it's a good one. And it's an easy one. Yeah, it's an easy one. How'd I choke that out? You can there? use coconut oil too. It's yeah, just, definitely. It's lucky as well. Liquid co yeah. coconut oil, because yeah. coconut liquid, oil, yeah, as liquid. we all know, goes hard. But yeah. you could use any kind of oil you wanted. It's just if you want the extra oomph. Oomph. Yeah. That's a technical word. <laughs> um, grape seed is probably the best, just because grapes are actually really, really lucky. They are lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's where these come from. So, there you go. From. You need all the help you can get. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to be um, switching it up over the next few days. Um, we got some fun stuff planned just because why not? Yeah. You know, um, we're not always going to be doing uh, money spells and wealth spells. We might throw them in there, but we've got some more fun stuff to do. So, um, if you enjoy any of our video videos, help us out and subscribe. If not, that's okay. <laughs> no judging here. Not that much. No. We judge a bit. Okay. Everybody well, judges a bit. <laughs> Everybody does. But so, anyways, yeah. that's all we got that's for just tonight. Just a little bit of dragon stuff and a little bit of luck stuff. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. So yeah. yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we'll call her a night. Stay magical. Stay magical.